for my brother up there. Wow, good. And that painting of you too? Yeah. yeah. Standing in an avalanche. Yeah, that's wow, good. And that painting of you too? Yeah. 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 Women, women need to come back and, and spiritually uh, more and more women are wanting to, they swarm around me because I have, I have this connection with the Creator that we forget to give thanks just for being. Mm -hmm. We forget that. The churches nowadays, spirituality is not in it. It becomes money and a dress parade. So I'm trying to teach that spirituality, church to me, is every day. I am not working towards some God is already here. Mm -hmm. And so to me, every day is church. You walk your talk every day, you know. You be you have that personal innateness of integrity that you will walk your talk and stay in the middle of the road because I teach people when they were five years old, they knew when they said something wrong, and they knew when they did something wrong. So here you are an adult, and you still know that. You know, so stay in the middle of the road. It's like a tree, prune yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To me, that's simple. So it's happening right now. All the grandmothers are meeting. There's many oh. circles happening. Oh, all over the world. See, when we come together in New York in 2004, I told the grandmas, now that we're circled up, you're going to see, they like the word, a mushrooming of elders all over the world. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's going to happen. So it is. Many, many of our tribal people are coming together. Many more uh, grandmothers, like when I was in Australia. What can we do, Auntie Aggie? We're getting old. I said, you still speak. You still got the wisdom. You are the keepers of the wisdom. Give it back to the kids. Mm -hmm. You know, you have a lot of knowledge that it, for being a grandparent, you are the wisdom keepers. So instead of stay, you let it stay in here, you give it back to your children and let them know that they have a good way to start walking a good path. Time for the, for the woman, for the goddess to lift the veil of illusion oh, and yeah. reveal the sacred path in all the ways we are. And this I is what we talked about when we South America to the government. I opened. And I said, you know, about the same thing I'm telling you right now about peace, that it's up to us as human beings to spread that peace around, you know. And the only way we can do that is to create this place inside of us, this peaceful place, because we can't give something we don't have. And if we don't have peace, then who in the world are you? You're not even giving thanks for just for being. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not even saying, yes, the Creator made me into this form and not to give thanks for that you know like every day I wake up and I lay in there I said somebody look at me and think I was crazy because I wake up and have a smile on my face yeah I got one more day <laughs> got one more day mm -hmm. and uh, because I nearly died a few times in my life and I prayed to die I was so sick and to have an, another day to wake up in the morning to me is grateful and the next thing I do is I get up I bless the water and tell water it can hear, you're sacred, bless me, and bless the water around the world. Because I've traveled a lot, and most lot of, there's so much pollution all over the water. So when, you, when the trees are gone and the green is gone, and all that has disappeared, eat the money for the water and your food. You know, can you get those, that, that nourishment from, from the money? Mm -hmm. You know. So it can't always be done because of money. It has to, something has to be preserved for our existence. In many places in the world, we have been playing the game of monopoly, which is the game of competition. Oh, yeah. and, and that game of monopoly didn't go in all the countries. Many countries say, oh, this is a game of mind control, you know, buying, you know, and... Uh, so now with this 13 moon calendar, me, I've presented as a new game, the game of synchronicity, the game of cooperation, where we all have a piece of the puzzle and we honor one another for what we've come to do. And it it's, has been a very magical journey with the children. Well, that's what I'm saying, that it's not us adults that own this world, it's the children. Mm -hmm. And it's up to us adults to take care of it for them, not just for the children now, but for the seven generations to come. If we, if we want them to grow up in beauty, let's preserve it. 
if we want the seven generations to come and walk in beauty, then let's preserve it. Mm -hmm. you know. Grandmother Agnes, yeah. because we are following a Gregorian calendar with uneven months, which is false timing, and we're disconnected from the cycle of nature, from the moon. Uh, we're out of balance. We're out of balance. We're living in a false timing, an illusion. So if what happens to the earth? I don't care. I'm disconnected. I'm following time is money. I'm rushing. Yeah. I'm looking at the weekend and my Gregorian yeah. calendar. So I think that the, the calendar gives the form, and now it's holding humanity in this false form. And as long as we're going to be living in this 1260 timing, 12 hours, 60 minutes, uh, time is money, uh, I cannot ask the society or the government to change their ways. They're living with the, this Gregorian calendar. But I say to the young people, if you want to dissolve this old energy, start anchoring the new energy with a new time. Time is art. You know, if they want to make a change in this earth, we got to start with the children. Yes. On anything, whether we, whether it's alcohol or whatever, we have to use that the child when he's young to change his mind about what he thinks of himself. That he don't need a drug or anything chemical to make him fit and belong. Yeah, he's important as he is. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like I, I try to teach my grand, great grandkids. You know, you're you're very, very important because when I go to the other world, it's you kids are going to take over down here. Mm -hmm. You know, so you got to be smart. Mm -hmm. You got to do a good thing with your life. You know, and so I teach them. I teach them about the spirit world, and that we don't tap into it enough. It's just a breath away. You know. So, we don't ever give thanks just for our spirit of ourselves. Just being able to breathe. Mm. You know. We're not humble enough. And we, you know, until we can heal up in here and, and feel good about ourselves, we're always going to reach out for something else to, to make us feel good about ourselves. There shouldn't be hunger in the world because we're such a throwaway society. There shouldn't be hunger. Yes, yes. You know, just like I said, if all the truckers here in this United States had stopped just one day, it would sure make people think about gas prices. Because mm -hmm. if you bought anything, a trucker brought it. You know, there shouldn't be hunger. Yes. So as we were sharing with you uh, in our facts, the spiral of cooperation with little children in Hawaii there, we've been activating in the labyrinth. And when we would meet in the center, we would, instead of doing the handshake of competition, which is only two people together, we would gather and do the spiral of cooperation with a flowing movement and then spiral together and use the Mayan code of honor, which is in Lakesh, saying, I am another yourself. Mm -hmm. last so instead of meeting, sorry, competition, we activate with a fluid movement uh -huh. and then we meet Touch here in the tips. center and, and then we spiral. spiral. And we put our tom over here, so. Okay. And, and then we look at each other and say the Mayan greeting in Lakesh, which means I'm another yourself. We're all one. In Lakesh. So, in Lakesh. In Lakesh. In Lakesh. In Lakesh. In Lakesh. And then we send this one to the center of the earth. All right. Okay. Nice. And then we're going to do the left hand. We're going to do the full activation. Always bringing this little flowing movement. And then we spiral. And we, we repeat the code of honor. In La Cache. 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 And this one we're going to send it to the, to the sky. Okay. Okay. So this is a new way of greeting, uh, in, in, in inviting more than two people. The handshake of competition is dissolving, mm -hmm. and we choose to activate a new way so we can all gather together and. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's their hands. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, that's their hands gathering. And this is my path. I want to play with the children and, and reflect with them their power and honor them for who they are. Yeah. And with this, these virtues, I've got to them and they really, really love it. And it's, mm -hmm. it's, I present it as a game because it's weaved in with the mind wisdom, but it's not holding the traditional 
but it's available to all the people who have been disconnected from their roots. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Not everyone has the tradition within them. So where are we going to start with these children? So honoring them with their day of birth, what it is that they've mm -hmm. come to do. And there's five Earth family, and everyone on the planet is part of this human family. Where in the are. calendar we have access to embody and invite all these virtues so our brain can be activated. Because I do believe that we hold, we, uh, we use only a few um, of our intelligence. Mm -hmm. It's because our divine and mystical intelligence has been sealed, mm -hmm. and now it's the time to reawaken our divine intelligence. I mean, I have a big brain. I carry it yeah, around like with that. me. I want to use it. Yeah? yeah. Because I said, we don't tap into the spiritual world like we're supposed to, you know. And uh, I don't know why that is, whether it's, it probably has a way that people were brought into the world. Galactic passport, and I call it peace part. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I saw that on it. Yeah, on. you sat on this. And then every children in the school receive their peace part according to their family. This is another family. This is the signal family. And, and then they can understand and they can sing their songs inviting virtues every day. So this is the virtue of abundance and sharing, elegance, um, exploring space, opening, uh, wakefulness, and this is reflecting order. Yeah. Greeting. So, and I think you have to be a hero at this time to change a way of greeting okay. and also a way of seeing time. Yeah. Because time is money evidently serving just a yeah, few of us. On the you want to play a new game? You want to play a game of cooperation? This is how we weave it. And the children love it. And that because the teachers are also students at that point, then sometimes the children learn quicker than the teacher does, so then the student becomes the teacher. And so there's a role reversal, and it's awesome. And the parents are supportive. So. And this is what I say in school. When you're in a schoolhouse and then you graduate and you leave it, forget it. School doesn't stop. It's the rest of your life. To school, you know, and it's like I say, I'm always a student, mm -hmm. and yet I'm a teacher too. The University of Life, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you were born here, which is a tone five, and I come here to five. It is the overtone tone, which is I empower and I command the radiance, and the world bridger is to equalize opportunity with the power of death. So this is the day you were born. And then if I come back to the tone one, the magnetic tone, the one that holds a purpose for 13 days, and your purpose is to communicate spirit through your breath. So evidently, you know all about this. Mm -hmm. But if you're a child of eight years old, and you learn about this about you, you'll never forget this. So if mm -hmm. you're in a place in your life in a time where you're weak or you're in doubt, and then you remember, oh yeah, I have this power to equalize. You sit down to play Monopoly. Nobody asks you what's your religion or what do yeah. you eat. Everybody yeah. sits down and play. Yeah. Well, it's the same thing yeah. with this game. You, we can all be uh, weaved well, together. Well, I think everybody's unique. Everybody's special. You know, you got a right to to walk your talk. You know, whoever you are. And uh, I don't I don't argue with people how they believe. You mm -hmm. know, like the white man's Bible says, you walk in light as you see it. That's okay with me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not here to change anybody. The only person I could change is myself. Is All right. Okay. Thank you. And this is a little bit more information. And uh, okay. and this is the campaign for the new time, the foundation for the law of connect. Time. We're all part yeah. of the fabric. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Just like I tell people, you know, you better start praying for the animals. They got a right to stop the silence. They got a right to howl and make their sound. Yeah. And uh, without the animal kingdom, we die. And so we better start taking care of the animals. Yes. Better well, than Well, this yeah. is why we're meeting with you today. We want to honor the grandmothers, and we thank you so much for traveling all around the world and okay. spreading this feminine energy, empowering women. Yeah. And as the Galactic Grandmother Council, we come to tell, share with you that we have found a tool that can unify humanity through enchantment, through a game. So we're replacing the game of Monopoly by the game of... Thank you to all grandmothers joining their hearts weaving for the children of the earth, for the healing of humanity, for the healing of our beautiful planet.